akibat ada the noise uh, karena tak semua jalan sudah and that's when I improve one for the detecting central CV and the LBD for the black color differential relay that face the offset zone uh, offset zone for the experience because then let me introduce myself my name is Rizal Yudhantama uh, I'm from UNL Kalimantan the new capital city <laughs> yes okay today I plan is about theory and all experiment experience and the solution for the detective, detecting safety settlement on the LCD or then current differential release and at the last uh, button for question. Before I start, I have a tagline for this project, uh, presentation. Yeah. We know that EAD or intelligence electronic device, mm -hmm. so we have two words intelligence. Intelligence is yes, so we can find everything inside this ID. Okay, let's start with theory. It's a simple theory from a current transformer that there's a lot of things there from the current transformer. Some of them is instrument and current transformer. And the uh, function is transformed from one side to another side, from primary side to secondary side. But uh, there is a there is a there is a moment that the saturating that happens on CPs that separate that appear once it increases the height disturbance current falls, then the fault is increased to the height fault that the iron core is effective to afford this force. So it makes a saturating. And another thing that theory is about the differential current relay or, or LCD. You know that LCD is uh, comparison between uh, current and input and out from one side and you know in the inside the length current differential there are a lot of things there are a lot of parameter setting that can face the separate uh, cd when it happens so one of them is slow and something like that but in actually in this moment this parameter setting is cannot handle the current 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 uh, in that place. Okay, this is our our field experience. That there is a fault that happened on the substation C to the substation D. It take a two lines, and it will it make a the, this line and this line line one and line two train. But it's normal because after the after the disturbance will look around the, the transmission line that we found any uh, fact that there is a there, there is a fault inside this but unfortunately there is a, something happened in the substance B and substance C there is a lane one trip with the indication trip differential then after that it goes actually the fault is happening here but why why in this section is uh, I have a response from the from the from the fault that happened in this area. So we must think about this. After that, we look we look we look uh, after to looking for the the disturbance port recorder inside the relays. And this this is the disturbance port recorder inside the relays. Uh, this is very 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 hard to know what happened inside the relay because it's just only increasing that happened on the current uh, A and C and after that we look around the uh, we look, uh, look at the look at the summary for the uh, measurement we know that there is a differences like again if the current flow like this so and uh, the current is will flow from here to here so it will have a difference is uh, delta phase angle is about 180 and my, and my link decay the same result is one so be sure that be sure that the uh, propagation is in chat here so the length current differential in here should not be trip and should not be respond for this uh, so the transform will be small. Then after we get the result of the phase angle, 
we look at the magnitudes. There is something <coughs> happened on the magnitudes from the recorder. From the relay, from the substation C, we get the result is about 100. And another uh, substation B, we get 104. One, one, oh, sorry, 1,400. Uh, one, one point for kilo ampere and it have a delta or uh, it's not equal so it make it the it the sound that make the differential current wave trips so we must know what happened inside the current differential then we maybe we increase the way we zoom the we zoom the recorder to look to look is there something happened on the transmission line that or the or, or there is something happened in the relays but unfortunately we can find any footprints we know in the recorder uh, we have a footprint for for the fault negation so we must looking for another obedience we use another recorder we have uh, another recorder from DFR and this open particular is independent from the disturbance uh, particle order. Then finally we have a nice feature from here. There is uh, something happen in uh, fast fast C. Yeah. But any problem with this situation? If the engineer know a lot of literature, he know this something happen with picture like this. So we try to compare with any literature. And we get something similar with the literature that, but uh, that the this one is same with this, and this one is side was that this is there is a saturating current transformer inside the inside the by line by by line. So we know that there is a saturating inside the by line that. But it's very very hard for us to know if we don't have any data and we have any uh, knowledge about this one. So we needed something new. We need something new to maybe for uh, make uh, make our evaluation is easier. Then we need something block that we know that the relay is part should not be operate, but in this experience experience the relay is work and it's called by malfunction for protection so uh, let's be, be back again to my first tech line with, with the EAD or intelligent electronic device we have intelligence we have everything inside this so inside the length current differential we know that we have length current differential itself but not uh, inside of that we have another thing that we have uh, directional elements communication. We have AAC six one eight fifty zero five zero, and we have logic that we can modify as good as we want. Then it's opportunities we can make a new something. Uh, uh, we can make a, another logic or another 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 uh, option for uh, make the protection is uh, more reliability and we back again to the first fault experience that this is current flow so there is a current flow inside this on the side one it will be uh, four directions something like that but in this one it will be reverse directions because it will Back to back to the side copy, so we get the two even from this. This is forward and this is reverse. So we can use this for our new uh, method. This one, I'm sorry, is not good. So we know that this one is reverse. So we use these uh, situations to make a new modifying that. With the reverse direction, we make we can make uh, alarm. So if there is a outside zone, outside zone, outside zone uh, fault, uh, out, uh, fault that happen on the outside zone, it will 
uh, make something uh, we use the zone 3 we use the distant elements for the reverse after that uh, uh, we use a differential trip and it make it make uh, some alarm for the reverse that reverse that say that the fault is happening in offset zone from the length time differential it's only a alarm but with this alarm it's make easier for the engineer to uh, isolate the protection uh, system and another options it can make a something block trip so we don't need a uh, trip anymore we make sure the reliability from the transmission line then the <coughs> transmission line or the uh, energy skip it uh, can goes to the consumer so it can be something like block we same same logic we use the reverse directions after that we know that we have a communication AIC 61850 it's very very fast to transmit any data in the later in the late letters is about a one uh, ten nano ten nano second but actually I have tried uh, with a traditional uh, testing method we we can get the speeds about 10 milliseconds but in traditional uh, I, I, I not suggest this this way to, to, to know the the speed of the AAC 61850 because there is another the testing the tester machine that we use to measure the speed of these protocols uh, so we can get this one for the block trip so we can increase our reliability so is uh, our new method is good enough uh, I will compare this one for another another brand another friend of that we use for the detecting for saturating system this one you know that this is a normal waveform from the normal waveform from the alternative current they use the Fourier that this is way that say that this is a uh, saturated so there is a gray area this is the signal this is the they the relay is measure this uh, gray signal then make a decision oh this is the saturating current transformer this is another method and i do some experiment in that brand of vendor i i can't mention it I cannot mention it, and I just play back the play back the disturbance. Then it make a, a events like that. They not trip. Good enough, good enough. Because and this this there is a cycle that a uh, phase saturation is happen. Not only on the phase uh, that happen and the phase A, B, and C saturation. Saturate, uh, saturate, uh, saturate city can happen, but is this good enough? Let me try another fault experiment. If the fault is like this, then there is a city saturated surface. What will happen? Yes, absolutely. If we use this method, it will blow because it's only compared. It's only compare the gray area. Compare the gray area. Then it will block the protection. It will make something. It will be something worse thing. But if you use the the reverse, something like this, it will not be work. Why? Because the uh, current flow is all of both upside is forward. There is no reverse reverse a direction that happened on this fault experience okay then so about the backup benefit is about switch shift yes absolutely detection saturated yes absolutely we can get uh, more files and cd oh we, if you choose the option two we can handle it reliability yes absolutely and then because of i don't think so because the, there is no more operation protection profit absolutely we can uh, transfer the energy to customer Suggest to vendor, yes, absolutely. After this, we can give a suggestion to vendor to make a improvement for their method to detection for saturation. 
and the conversion is something like this. Uh, there is a slope that the parameter slope that can handle the outside zone protection inside the retro differential. Additional rail driver is on for alarm and for blocking. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And now we open the session. Are there any questions? I think this is a very good idea and innovation. Do you have any questions? Okay. Just make sure you have any questions and questions. Thank you very much. My name is Jeffrey. Okay, thank you for the time, the presentation. Next question that we showed to you is only one brand from the relay, but absolutely each relay has a similar. Then in the last, uh, in last one, I give suggestion to get the handle. So because there is some relay that we cannot change or modify the logic because it's not too flexible. So the solution is we can try to suggest to the vendor but uh, in the sum of the, the relay is we can we can make this additional uh, additional logic sum of relay then that if we can use we can suggest uh, and one thing that we must uh, believe that this one we have everything inside ADS. Even we can be, we, we can modify the A logic. Maybe we can look at the EADs, then we can use another thing that EAD have. So we can make a some modification that we, uh, we, we, we can use for increase the reliability of the uh, performance for the EADs. Something like that. that. We know that maybe we are Indonesian people, we can make a relay, but maybe we can be a good user so we can be not, not a good provider but a good user we can modify after that uh, maybe if I don't it's not uh, quietly perfect so we can give another suggestion for the for the for the for the for the vendor and uh, this is uh, there is another there is another experience that and this brand is blocked in other countries I, I can mention the brand, but this brand is blocked in other countries. But Indonesia is this. So, what do you think about this? So we 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 must modify modify to make uh, the improve uh, to make the performances getting better. So we don't need to block this uh, brand. I think like that. So we need service defender. So we don't need any additional logic. So if the make some basic parameter from the vendor, so it will make the response time is faster. 
if you compare with we add another logic uh, our slide as ourselves something like that okay. thank you uh, it's a very nice presentation I think uh, now I'm Anang from Golden Tomeka Negeri Surabaya uh, we are doing uh, now it's uh, about the digital adaptive digital protection theory okay but uh, it's still running on our research and then uh, if uh, possible I can invite you to join with our research so we, we do by ourselves uh, the same from the zero from scratch to be the uh, adaptive digital protection theory and then the uh, one more, uh, my, my question is uh, how if we combine the two functions, one for digital protection theory and another side from for the power quality monitoring. And I know that uh, the two functions to be the one's uh, device called IED also. So how about your opinion? Thank you. My opinion is that's possible. Why we why we use the PMU power management unit and the protection is we, we define this because uh, they want uh, sell a lot of things. Yes. Sell a lot of things and they make a more profile. Absolutely, when we're talking about PMU, uh, uh, relay protection is quite uh, good enough for PMU because it's very, very have a good response for this one. And when, when we're talking about the PMU is, but there is uh, one thing that happened is that PMU is about the metering that we not only use for the AEDs, but also it's a uh, have relation between uh, AEDs and the input. Input is uh, current transformer and potential current transformer. For the, for, the, for the protection side, that we use core for the protection and uh, protection for the CP and PT. So in the very very, uh, we, we don't have a good precision in the low, on the low in, in the low loop on the low loop, uh, be, uh, because the protection core is for the high current. When the, there is a high current, it will make a precision. But in the low current, it's not not good enough for the PMU something like that. So uh, I think it's better that. Uh, maybe we combine this that uh, maybe we can try another things that combine this one but we must think about uh, core CP and PT that we use because not, uh, we were talking about the PM units not only for the AID itself but also input for another stuff it's a very very interesting channel for us to make one step to make one device to handle everything something like that Yes, one city that's a, that in one city there's a two core. So there's a two core, something like that. That if, if the protection relays, protection relays, you use a protection core that the for measuring that you said before the PMU, the PMU that use a, a metering because this have a precision in the low, uh, in the below one hundred percent of the. But the protection is uh, is used for the high current that we have a precision of this. So maybe in one AV we can use two CT something like that because it's uh, a challenge uh, for the last uh, device that EAD is need a very very low burden burden for the way. So if we use a uh, one core of CT, uh, it only use a very little. Uh, burden that uh, use for the AEDs. Jadi kalau AED sekarang tuh lebih lebih sedikit lah karena ambil burdennya lah. Kalau kalau zaman dulu kan pakai elektronika kan CP-nya kan lebih banyak itu masuknya. Nah kalau sekarang uh, cuma paling ambil berapa ada itu berapa aja. Ya. 